Season one of Euphoria follows Rue Bennett and her fellow high school student friends through their experiences with relationships, identity, and trauma. Rue is a 17-year-old recovering drug addict who's dealt with lifelong mental disorders and has yet to fully process her father's death from cancer. Rue's constant fluctuation between relapse and recovery is a struggle for not only her, but her mother Leslie and her younger sister Gia. Rue's childhood best friend is Lexi, although their relationship has been strained. Lexi tries to be there for Rue, but is constantly pushed away by Rue's self-destructive tendencies. Lexi's older sister is Cassie, who's in a relationship with college freshman Christopher McKay. Cassie has been grappling with being abandoned by her father at an early age, while McKay struggles under the immense pressure his own father puts on him to be a professional athlete. These issues lead to a lot of friction in their relationship, including McKay being hesitant to label Cassie his girlfriend, and Cassie cheating on McKay with fellow high schooler Daniel. Eventually, Cassie gets pregnant. Another high school student is Kat Hernandez, who throughout the season grows more confident in her body. After unknowingly being filmed while losing her virginity, Kat discovers the massive money that could be made by becoming a cam girl, and so she starts posting pictures and videos of herself online for money while also continuing to experiment and explore with her body. Eventually, Kat meets and begins dating her classmate Ethan, but her insecurities and paranoia constantly create conflict between the two. Star quarterback Nate Jacobs is an abusive bully using violence and anger to mask his own sexual insecurities. He's in an on-again, off-again relationship with Maddie Perez. During a break in their relationship, Maddie has sex with a college student named Tyler in front of everyone at McKay's house party. Upon learning of this, Nate goes into a rage, breaking into Tyler's home and beating him to near death. When Nate and Maddie rekindle their relationship, Nate gets mad with Maddie and grabs her by the throat, leaving bruises. When those bruises are discovered and reported to the police, Nate breaks back into Tyler's home and forces him into falsely confessing to the crime. Nate's father, Cal, has his own sexual secrets that he hides from his family, namely his pattern for filming himself having sex with young gay men and trans women. His most recent sexual encounter is with the new in town high school student, Jules. When Rue meets Jules, she is instantly smitten. Much to Rue's dismay, Jules begins a texting relationship with a man she met online named Tyler. Jules and Tyler exchange nudes, but when they finally meet in person, Tyler is revealed to be Nate, who threatens Jules to keep her mouth shut about her sexual encounter with his father, or he would report her to the police for sending underage nudes. The betrayal leaves Jules shell-shocked, but she finds comfort in Rue and the two kiss. While Rue wants this to lead to a relationship, Jules isn't quite ready to commit and even meets a new girl named Anna while on a getaway night out in the city. And that brings us to Rue. Rue's struggle with sobriety takes many turns throughout the season. Her close friend and drug dealer Fezco begins to worry for Rue's well-being and refuses to sell any more drugs to her. But that is complicated when his violent supplier Mouse shows up and forces Rue to try fentanyl. When Rue discovers that Nate had pretended to be Tyler to threaten Jules, Rue turns to Fezco to intimidate the bully. In retaliation, Nate reports Fez to the police, forcing Fez and his young partner Ashtray to dispose of their stash. This puts Fezco in a huge debt to Mouse. In the season one finale, Cassie gets an abortion with her family by her side, Kat and Ethan reconcile, Fezco robs Mouse's supplier to pay his own debts, Nate and Maddie peacefully break up, and Rue confronts Nate over his threats towards Jules, making her own threats to expose Cal. As the finale comes to a close, Rue and Jules make plans to run away together, but Rue backs out at the last minute and leaves Jules to depart on the train alone. Back at home, a heartbroken Rue snorts oxycodone. And while that's everything that happened in Season 1 of Euphoria, there were two bonus specials released before the premiere of Season 2. In Part 1, Rue meets with her Narcotics Anonymous sponsor Ali to recount her relapse. Ali imparts a lot of wisdom on Rue and explains that forgiving oneself was a key part of change and that he had faith in Rue's continued improvement. In Part 2, Jules is in therapy where it's revealed that her mother is an addict and that her feelings for Rue are complicated by her feelings for her mother. Despite this, Jules admits to loving Rue, but she also was still in love with the fake Tyler that Nate had pretended to be. When Jules finally returns home, Rue is waiting for her. Before Jules can apologize for leaving Rue behind, Rue wishes Jules a simple Merry Christmas and abruptly leaves. The Rue and Jules relationship remained as complicated as ever. And that's everything you need to know before seeing Season 2 of Euphoria. Let me know some of your favorite moments from Season 1 in the comments below, and what are you most looking forward to seeing in Season 2? Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, buy some merch if you're super chill, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.